Hello friends, this video on garbage in garbage out part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this is how we dispose of the biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. So but everywhere we see that okay at least with the biodegradable waste we can use it in some good way but the non-biodegradable waste they will go and get added to the landfill and again inside the landfill also they will remain as it is years after years so is there any way by which we can reduce the amount of garbage that we throw because if the amount of garbage is reduced then the amount of garbage in the landfill will also get reduced so how can we do that so a few things that we can do from our end is to stop throwing unnecessary things. Now, for example, children, they sharpen their pencils even when it is not needed just for fun. So what does that produce? That produces some amount of unnecessary garbage. Similarly, when just for fun, you tear pages of your notebook and you make paper planes and play with them okay if you if you really want to make paper planes instead of tearing pages from your notebook what you can do is you can make use of some paper wastes maybe you can you make use of shredded newspapers and make the same paper plane right so we should not unnecessary waste clean paper rather used papers can be used to make paper planes paper boats or whatever you like A lot of people have a tendency that the moment uh, their riffle of the pain, pen is over, what do they do? They throw the pen. But if that's not needed, you can just change the riffle. So change the riffle and again use the same pen. So in that case, you are reducing some garbage. Now if everybody keeps throwing every pen after the riffle is over, so it is adding to the garbage. So the, the, these are small, small ways by which you can stop throwing unnecessary things. Because when you actually look at the garbage that we throw, a very good percentage of the garbage is due to unnecessary things, which was not needed to be thrown, which could have been easily reused. Now, we'll take the example of papers and we will see that how used papers can again be used in many ways. So let's say the used paper or a used newspaper or a paper on which you have already written something and now you do not need it anymore. So those kind of papers can be used to make toys like the paper planes, paper boats, etc. You can use papers for covering your books. Once you have read the newspaper, you do not need the newspaper anymore. But you can still use the same newspaper to cover your book or to make packets to keep things. A lot of snacks are made available in newspaper packets. You can make carry bags and these carry bags are an excellent thing. First of all, you are using the newspapers. Secondly, uh, they can replace the plastic bags or the polythene bags. So they can also be replaced with these bags create masks so just for fun of many a times you buy expensive masks made up of plastics and all so instead of doing that used newspapers can be utilized to make these kind of masks because the purpose remains still remains the same photo frames even used newspapers can be used to make beautiful photo frames just that you put some color over them you you have to wet the paper and then you have to give it a proper shape and on top of that you can color it the way you want so you see the used newspaper can be used to make so many different objects so this is one example which shows that how paper can be recycled so paper can be very well recycled that's because the same paper can be used in many different ways and even at the end when you throw it the paper can be decomposed also so the paper can will get decomposed by microorganisms and th that can again become a harmless substance so it will add to the environment so when we talk about recycling paper what we mean is we convert waste paper into reusable objects so these reusable objects could be toys could be bags could be masks and it could be anything Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience.
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.